<laughs> That's funny. Here I'm talking and hooting and hollering, and there was no mic. So anyway, let me just tell you guys, you probably saw that just moments ago. Stolen Motorhome was this started in the New Hall area. This was started on the old road. Sheriff's Department was in pursuit of this vehicle, got onto the freeways. They 1022 did. That means they backed off. California Highway Patrol picked it up. You can see this motorhome making wild turns out here, being extremely aggressive. Stolen vehicle is what they're saying this vehicle is. You saw it. it, it hopefully we were live uh, when that happened, but that motorhome was actually pushing vehicles out of the way after it got off of the uh, 118 freeway at Tampa. Right now, where are we? Because I'm wondering myself. We are southbound on Corbin. This is going to be the Chatsworth area. Wrong side of the road. California Highway Patrol. They are behind it. A helicopter is above it. There might actually be two uh, sheriff's helicopters above it. It has made a turn. One, one, only one now. They swapped out. Now we're in a uh, residential area. This is kind of a tricky spot. The uh, residential areas up here, some of these are cul-de-sacs, and some of them are not. Now, stolen motorhome out of the Newhall area. This is a, uh, well, let's just say an extremely upscale area up here in the uh, Chatsworth area, maybe Porter Ranch-ish, but you can see the homes out here, nicer homes. This is probably not where this uh, motorhome, the owner, the stealer of this uh, motorhome lives. Right now, though, hitting some uh, some of those speed bumps out there. California Highway Patrol right behind him. You know, every time he runs a red light, every time he hits one of those intersections, you just got to kind of be worried. Somebody's coming around the corner or is just unaware. That is an extremely heavy vehicle. Uh, it, it's a motorhome, for gosh sakes. Uh, so, and at these high speeds and tiny streets, very residential, extremely dangerous situation. Again, California Highway Patrol in pursuit of a stolen motorhome. And uh, this started in the Santa Clarita area. Now we're in the Chatsworth area. Hopefully it gets away from these trees. Coming up to a major intersection right there. That's Devonshire. I know the area. Don't have to really look. Making a hard turn right there. Actual liquid coming out of the back of the vehicle. Probably water. That's what I'm guessing. It is a motorhome. Don't know if those tanks are full. But if they are that full, it just adds to the weight. Another hard turn right there, southbound. I believe this is going to be back onto Corbin. So if he continues this way, we're going to be in the Northridge area shortly. Uh, traffic, what is he doing? Uh, traffic is moderate right now. But as we make our way into the uh, no it, back into the, to the valley floor, the traffic is going to get a lot, a lot more thick. And we'll see what happens out here. Hopefully nobody is going to be hurt. But uh, just crazy moments uh, when this when we first got eyes on this thing when he got off the freeway there also those uh, hard turns with that big vehicle amazing how that uh, thing doesn't flip over but uh, it is a motorhome and these are designed for safety today this driver this is not being safe at all extremely dangerous made contact with several vehicles already california highway patrol they're the ones behind it right now but I can tell you, uh, probably LAPD going to be getting involved as well. I know we're up on the uh, on the net. I'm going to pull up this right now, so get an idea of the speeds out here. 75 miles an hour coming up on an intersection with a lot of vehicles. People hard on the brakes out there. Such a dangerous type of... My gosh, could you just imagine you're just driving along, doing your thing, going through a green light, and here comes this motorhome barreling through the intersection. This is the uh, stuff that makes these uh, pursuits so dangerous. This one so dangerous because it is a large vehicle, high speeds, and extremely aggressive driving. Another hard turn right there, cutting people off, getting back into another residential neighborhood. <laughs> that motorhome swaying hard. Uh, and again, water coming out of the back. The only reason I keep pointing that out, whoa, hard on the brakes. wonder what that was all about right there. Uh, I wonder what's going on. It, the reason why I keep talking about the water coming out of the back is if those tanks are full, that's just added weight to that vehicle. Now, that weight could actually keep it from flipping over, but it also just adds to the, the weight that's on the brakes. And also, if this thing makes contact with anything, uh, you just got to figure, just do the physics. That thing weighs a lot. Another hard turn right there. More water squirting out of the side of that vehicle. It's it, We're back into a very residential neighborhood out here. This is going to be in the Chatsworth area once again. Seems to like these uh, tighter streets. I don't know why. Maybe he has, maybe he has a destination uh, unknown to us at this time. But stolen motorhome and California Highway Patrol.
One sheriff, the sheriff stayed? All right. Cool. I'm surprised I don't get a notification that we're on Facebook. Another hard turn out there. Every time he makes those turns, you're, I'm just looking at that thing going, is it going to flip over? Is it just going to tip, like just hit that, that point where you know, gravity just takes over? Uh, we haven't seen that yet, but uh, every time he makes those hard turns, it may, it's bouncing there as he's getting through some of those intersections. Anybody that's driven, even if you're not in the United States, whoa, ho, 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 oh my goodness. I, it, it, <laughs> anyways, uh, I, I wonder if that driver actually knew what was going on or just he just saw a big blur of white and beige just shooting right by him there. Uh, anyways, uh, back out onto a major street out here. This is Plummer. This I just I just don't want to uh, get get too light with this one. It is so dangerous, and these speeds are so fast this uh, this afternoon and early uh, early afternoon. But this thing's going 80 miles an hour. We're up on a up on on Plummer once again. If you guys aren't local, this is a uh, very residential road, and it actually gets into. Uh, by the mall, in ex in, in any you know, if you don't know the area, this, we're getting close to the Northridge Mall, entering the Northridge Mall parking lot right now. Uh, this is one of the, I you know, I, if you're hearing it in my voice, it that is just honest truth out there. I am so worried he's going to make contact with a pedestrian, especially out here in in, a, in the mall type of situation, doing those hard turns out there. Amazing that that vehicle is staying upright, but it is you know they are designed for safety. But again. Motorhome out here this afternoon, Northridge Mall, hard turns out here, and then he makes these weird stops every now and then. I guess maybe that one he didn't want to hit the parked car. Uh, but California Highway Patrol, they are tasked to bring this thing to an end, and I think the guy just kind of did it on his own. Oh, my gosh. Look at this. This is, it, I, this is just unbelievable. He hit a tree, and he's taken out the entire front of that, uh, of that uh, motorhome. The windscreen out, the side of the truck open. You know, again, I know we're right now we're on on Facebook. If you guys ever watch uh, Grand Tour or Top Gear, that this is just, you know what? This is very dangerous. We don't even want to compare it right now. Uh, this person actually, it looks like to me, is actually out to hurt himself or others. So we're going to take this a little bit more seriously. High speeds, getting into a lot of traffic out there. I'm going to get Fulvio. Fulvio, can we move around just a little bit so we can see a, more of the damage? Get on the passenger side just to give the uh, people at home an idea what just happened there when he hit that tree. Uh, basically, he lost like probably a, a quarter of the actual motorhome. Uh, just continuing to drive there, no windscreen. These, these are basically fiberglass bodies on truck or on truck. Look at that. The glass is flying around. There goes the windscreen. Uh, you got to wonder about that driver. I mean, look. Oh, my goodness. I, I'm just going to we're just going to watch. I'm serious. I, I have I cannot believe what is going on this afternoon. Through another. Uh, <coughs> It, uh, damage, uh, you, now we can actually see some damage to the front wheels as well. It seems like the drivetrain might be uh, intact, but the uh, front wheels, at least the, the, the passenger side front, seems to be way out of alignment. You can see all that damage right there. I'm going to try something real quick. Uh, let me see what I can make happen here. Sorry, guys. Sorry, 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 sorry. I'm, like, multitasking. Uh, look, at, look at this. This is unbelievable the things that we see uh, through another intersection right there other vehicles barreling out of the way uh, innocent people in the on the road this afternoon uh, right now we were just getting some information southbound on uh, on Tampa and this uh, pursuit continues that vehicle heavily damaged now stolen motorhome hard stop right there probably he couldn't make the turn that's my guess uh, backing up. I'm just kind of getting an idea. There they go. And this is the thing, you know, California Highway Patrol, any law enforcement that's tasked with bringing something like this to a stop, it, a pit maneuver, it honestly might still actually work. But, uh, but it, when you see something like this, this driver continuing on, a dog, oh, come, this is just getting worse and worse and worse. Yeah. 
I just don't want to see any, I don't want to see that animal hurt. I don't want to see the driver hurt. And I definitely don't want to see it, an innocent person hurt. One of the reasons why I'm not going to stay tight on that, uh, on that dog right now is if this thing comes to a hard stop, I don't want to see uh, that, that dog come flying out that front window. Another very, very close call right there. Uh, we've said it so many times in the past, you just think these innocent people driving around down there, civilians, doing their own thing, minding their own business, driving along, and then all of a sudden you have somebody in a wrecked, stolen motorhome going 80 miles an hour, barreling through stoplights. It, it is just, you can't even describe it. Uh, right now, though, he has actually made contact with a couple of other vehicles. He's made contact with a tree. You see that? That's how all that damage happened right there. But uh, the pursuit of this motorhome, now we know there's a dog in there as well. Uh, it was a, a funny, and I'll do the air quotes, cute picture with the dog out front. But gosh, you just got to think, if this thing comes to a tragic end, now we have to. Wor now I'm worried about uh, an animal life a as well. Uh, this pursuit is continuing now. Where the speeds are slowing down a little bit. I'm wondering if that's because of the uh, of the damage that was done to that vehicle. But we're still on Tampa, approaching Van Owen. Van Owen, another major uh, cross out here. Extremely high speeds this afternoon. Extremely dangerous. And uh, I know, I know for a fact we're going to be going live here on KCAL in just a little bit. If you guys are local, KCAL Channel 9. That's going to be the what. Uh, what to watch, yes, you are right. Somebody, Michelle, is saying the driver of this vehicle extremely selfish. Yes, yes, he is. And uh, who knows what's going through anybody's mind in these chases, but on this one, you really have to wonder and worry. Uh, through That was through Victory Boulevard out there. At least he slowed down. Uh, but, again, hopefully that, uh, that uh, motorhome is just going to you know, peter itself out uh, before... <clears throat> Somebody is going to, uh, somebody's hurt, and I don't want to see that dog hurt either. Again, though, uh, if you guys are just joining us, pursuit of a stolen motorhome, all that damage you see right there is when that uh, motorhome struck a tree at the Northridge Mall when he went inside the, uh, the Northridge Mall parking lot. Slowing down hard on the brakes, uh, another unusual uh, turn here. Looks like uh, we're going to be, we're in Tarzana, and uh, we were on Tampa, but... Uh, we're, we're paralleling the orange line right now, so let me try to get Topham. Topham is the name of the street that we're on. Uh, but the pursuit continuing, and i got to work with Fulvio here for a minute or two. Fulvio, uh, I hear the anchors getting on. So it's, if we... Oh, maybe not. If we go live, we need to be on the other side. But right now we're not live. It's okay. All right, turning it back down again. But, uh, yeah, this pursuit continuing on out here, extremely dangerous. And, you know, we, we, a lot of times we're a little bit light with these things. We kind of, you know, throw a couple of uh, jabs at the driver, at the situation. But this is so beyond dangerous. And I just you just got this feeling. We've seen so many of these in the past. You just got this feeling that this might not end well. And... There's Fido out there on the front of the front of the uh, front of the, uh, just hanging out what once was the windscreen, and uh, you know you want to make the jokes like the uh, Mac uh, Mac truck bulldog, but if this thing comes to a hard stop, it's just going to be. I, I just don't want to see the animal hurt, and uh, and I'm talking about the dog, not the person behind the wheel. Oh, oh my God! No, 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 no! Thank goodness we didn't see that. My God. <sighs> Jeez, oh, Pete. Wow. That is one time in my life where I'm happy that we had a had a tree in the way.
Oh, he's on a leash. They pulled him back inside. This is still just not good. Anyways, it kind of gives you an idea what was go. What, what I mean, I'm, I'm beyond. I'm just hope that's the same dog. Uh, but it just makes you think, uh, you know, that kind of gives you an idea what's going to happen. Maybe he's got some sort of harness on that dog. But uh, I just, uh, wow. This is just bad, getting worse. Uh, type of situation. California Highway Patrol, they're down there. They're tasked with bringing this thing to a stop, and also uh, they're having a difficult time with it. I'm, I'm surprised that LAPD, and I'm not saying that in any kind of derogatory way, I'm surprised LAPD hasn't gotten involved uh, with this chase yet. I'm actually going to try to uh, pull up some uh, west, uh, some frequencies for the LAPD out here because uh, this is definitely in their, in their <coughs> jurisdiction. And uh, this person is driving like like a real, like very dangerously. I was going to say like a real maniac, but uh, a very dangerous pursuit going on out here. And these high speeds, and obviously this person has no regard for himself or his animals or uh, anybody around him. Uh, we saw him earlier on just really uh, hammer another vehicle that got in his way right there. Uh, Right now, Fulvio, is, we got the sun setting out here. It's a little bit hazy for us, so Fulvio is working to keep us safe. So uh, we're going to sacrifice the shot, maybe just a little bit there. But uh, at any rate, this pursuit continuing right now. If you guys want to know where it is, uh, we're on Tampa Avenue approaching uh, Khalifa. Actually, yeah, I'm still in the, by Khalifa. Khalifa, a smaller street. I'll get you some majors here in a minute. All right, copy all. I have KCAL up, guys, anytime. Susie and Jeff copied, so Jeff will want it. Whoa! Ho ho! No! 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 Oh my gosh! Uh, okay, Jeff, Jeff, he just he just hit another vehicle just driving out of a driveway out there. That's the third one. Just before we went live, there was another vehicle that he plowed into, a black SUV just moments ago. We'll get you some street names here in just a minute. Got people running uh, from that's probably the driver and the dog. Uh, again, this is such a bizarre and dangerous pursuit uh, we, you know we saw that vehicle when it was whole and it was actually still driving out there there you go the driver of that stolen uh, motorhome taken into it being taken into custody we're going to get you we're going to be calling this wells drive near tampa wells drive near tampa this is the tarzana area taking that driver into custody it looks like the dog is okay i am very concerned about the driver of that smaller vehicle uh fulvio my pilot this a afternoon we're going to try to move around and see if we can get a shot of that other that car that was pulling out of a driveway you can see that driveway right there so somebody just basically pulling out onto the street that vehicle was like t-boned hard t-boned and in right there into the trees that's the second vehicle that we saw that heavy suv crash into uh, sorry motorhome crash into we're going to get it keep an eye on that suspect we know the suspect's in custody the dog is okay but that driver of that car pulling out of the driveway very concerned about that person right there My gosh. It started in the New Hall area. It started in the New Hall area. Uh, 
Well, we know that, uh, like you said, it was a stolen vehicle, extremely high speeds right from the get-go. That right there is the innocent driver that was inside that white uh, white vehicle you see right there. That's the wreckage. The driver, they had a, the dog that we saw hanging out the front of that vehicle earlier on during the chase actually fell out of the tr out of the uh, motorhome. I thought for sure that that uh, that dog was a goner. I was happy that there was a tree in the way. We couldn't see it, but appeared to have that dog apparently had some sort of harm on it and the driver pulled it back inside uh, right there is where that suspect has been taken into custody a lot of trees I'd like to just take a moment and work my way back down the street because like I said right before we went live there was another black SUV in an intersection that that motorhome just hit at full speed and didn't even slow down uh, there's the uh, suspect right there being taken into custody the driver you can see blood out there I uh, don't know if that's from the driver possibly even the dog, uh, that uh, that loyal dog right there next to the driver that's being taken into custody. But uh, you see some blood, but after a crash like that and all that other devastation we saw, uh, I'm sure we have video of it when that, uh, S that, when that, I keep calling it an SUV, when that motorhome made its way into the Northridge Mall in the parking lot, driving the same way, very reckless actually hit a tree and that's where most of that damage to that motorhome happened and actually took out that whole passenger side right now though that suspect in custody and i'm so worried about the innocent people that were struck by that motorhome I'm guessing we're still uh, up on Facebook. Uh, you guys all saw that right there. I'm gonna kind of work my way back right now, see if we can find that uh, that intersection. I know it was there, it was right there. It was right when they went uh, underneath the uh, uh, the 101. There's the other vehicle that it struck. Look at, just look at that. This, you know, and this is what, what I was talking about earlier on. That's a motor home. Uh, that thing is full of water, generators, batteries, furniture, those things weigh a lot. And for this driver to be driving it, we saw 70 miles an hour on surface streets. Uh, it's, I'm, I'm not, I can't even say it. I'm gonna say it was amazing that this is the only damage that we saw. There was uh, so much uh, devastation and so many close calls this uh, afternoon. And I'm sure there were minor accidents and because of this, but that's one of the major ones right there. That's gonna be Ventura Boulevard and Tampa. And then of course, as we made our way back uh, up the street where this thing crashed, uh, that was just, you know, you just, I have no words. I really have no words. And I know that sounds so unprofessional, but uh, to see that kind of devastation, to see that motorhome uh, take out a vehicle that I, I, I'm assuming was making his way out of that driveway or just was just in the wrong spot at the wrong time. Uh, you can see it right there. I don't I don't know, it could be a Mercedes, but uh, I'm thinking it's not. But uh, you see the driver down, uh, actually got out of the vehicle and on the driveway right there. And uh, the motorhome, what's left of it, most of it under the tree. And then that suspect with the dog uh, and some uh, and some blood, a lot of blood actually. And I'm hoping, uh, I mean, it sounds, again, it sounds really bad, but uh, I'm not sure where that blood is coming from, if it's from the suspect or the dog, but uh, at any rate, uh, the dog seems to be very loyal and, and as compared to the uh, driver of that motorhome, uh, that dog seems to be pretty calm and uh, they should have let the dog drive. That's right, uh, they're saying that this is a uh, female female driver and uh, clearly uh, just uh, not in her right mind, that is for sure. Yeah, Elizabeth, I, I know that white vehicle, and again, it, it may be, it, it may be a Mercedes, uh, 
but uh, I'm n I'm not a hundred percent sure on that. It might it might be. Um, I want to. It's not a Kia. What's the other one? Yeah, it might be a Kia. Uh, it might be a Kia. Uh, and uh, if you guys you guys are just joining us, uh, just uh, to swing it back around, you can. Sh I'll show you. Uh, the other vehicle that it struck right before we went live, right underneath the 101 freeway. That's where the fire department is right now. I don't know uh, if that's an actual physical rescue going on right there. Uh, the driver probably on the sidewalk. Hey, Fulvio, let's just move around a little bit. We got, we got the stuff we need on tape. I, uh, yeah, I want to see the, them uh, working on the victim of the, that, that vehicle. It just ripped the whole front end off of that car. Yeah, don't have to worry about disconnecting the battery. The battery's gone. That's just me being sarcastic. There we go. They're right there. It's so funny the stringers are they're they're actually probably trying to run they have no idea what they're, what they're in for that uh, that motorhome came to a rest way up way up the up the road there um, I'm not sure if those are all people that were inside that vehicle or these are uh, folks that came to the aid of the driver once she got out of that uh, out of that car looked like uh, just getting off the freeway and uh, I'm sure had a you know had a green light in that uh, Motorhome just came by, plowed right through there, took off the front end of that car. Uh, <clears throat> the driver being uh, checked out right now by uh, paramedics from LA City Fire. It, it, that's glare, if anybody's watching, if you're wondering what that is right there, that's glare from the uh, sun setting. And it's very hazy out here today. Just go to the 101 in Ventura Boulevard. You can't miss it. There's a lot of fire activity. That's where the uh, black, black vehicle is that was getting off the freeway. 101 in Ventura. Look, it's, it's over by the one. I'm sorry. Tampa and Ventura Boulevard. Look over towards the 101. You can't miss it. Wow. Hey, assignment desk. Can I say wow? <laughs> I would assume so. I was uh, busy with the pursuit, but I'm guessing everybody was here. Fulio's giving me the uh, the rundown. Uh, uh, technically, and uh, maybe not even technically, we were first, and then seven joined us, and then after that, four and five joined us. But four and five was a uh, Fulvio says we were already southbound on streets. So, <clears throat> wow, well, husband, boyfriend, older brother coming to uh, console the uh, the driver of that car uh, let's see if uh, let's see if any ambulances showed up for the uh, oh they are okay cool
and I don't think I can get another dog, but I, if that dog winds up in the pound and uh, she's on, and I, hopefully she'll be unable to get it back, uh, that would that be a that'd be a nice rescue right there. If we go live with this at uh, at eight, and we have to move around, just move around. It's I'll I'll I'll, I'll figure it out. Yeah. Go ahead, go ahead. I believe that is a female driver uh, of the stolen vehicle. And uh, the dog did fall out, but uh, they must have some sort of harness or was like tied in somehow. And she pulled the dog back inside. I'll, uh, it, anybody that's, uh, that's uh, listening on Facebook, I'll explain that right now, too. Yeah, somebody's, uh, they're talking. He's still, uh, he's still on the ground. Firefighters are here. Yeah, I don't think any of these are, are life-threatening injuries, but, you know, we'll see. But, yeah, I don't think they're life-threatening. I think they're just, uh, they're, all, they're, all going to the, uh, they're all going to the hospital, I'm sure. You know, I thought, because there was a tree right there, I thought uh, it was either pulling in or pulling out, but uh, from the skid marks, Looks like she might have just been going slow, and she just rear-ended it. So uh, people were uh, asking about the dog. Apparently that was part of the conversation I just had with my assignment desk. And uh, for everybody that's on Facebook that's still with us, uh, just letting you know that the if you really look at it, you can see what I saw was that dog tumbling out the front. My boss is talking to me. Uh, Fulvio's looking for it right now. Um, I'll look around too. Anyways, okay. Uh, we'll look for it. I believe that's Tampa and, uh, no, that's Tampa and Bernetta. Hang on. Tampa and Wells is north of the, yep, I see it. I, wait, I don't know if that's ours. No, that's ours. There it is. Yeah, they're there. Okay, so the dog, the dog, the dog, the dog, and even if I get interrupted, unless it's going to be the show, which I don't think they're going to start early, I'm going to uh, shut off them and talk to my buddies on Facebook here. The dog, wait a minute, we don't care about the dry, yeah, exactly, everybody's on that same page. Uh, LA City Fire will render aid to animals if they can, meaning if this was a fire and the dog had smoke inhalation, we've seen it in the past, they'll do something to help that dog. Yes, I believe that blood is from the uh, dog and not the driver, but uh, if they are, I don't think that they can really help the dog right now. They are going to call animal services. Uh, what, we were, what everybody was concerned about, apparently, from my assignment test. What's up, Fulvio? Right, we saw it. Oh, really? All right, hey, um, so... 
now we're hearing that there might have been two dogs and the other dog fell out the window and ran away. So at any rate, we'll see, uh, that'll all come out in the wash. Hopefully that dog is okay uh, if it did go that way because I did see that dog tumble as well. And uh, I was, uh, yeah, it was one of the times, only time in my life where I was actually happy there were trees on the way because I did not want to see that, uh, that, that happen. So at any rate, there's one dog with the, uh, with the stolen motorhome suspect, uh, some blood, and uh, another one may have actually fallen out of the vehicle and uh, ran off. Elizabeth, I agree with you. Elizabeth is saying that she, that might be the reason why she made that U-turn to go back to see if she could find the dog. Uh, I, I tend to agree. I thought that's what the original, when it, when it happened originally, I thought that's what that was all about as well. But then uh, the dog, another dog apparently popped out the window and uh, I just, you know, assumed that, okay, maybe the dog didn't fall out. You can see they have some sort of harness on those animals, so we're gonna, there was two dogs. People are saying there was two dogs. A lot of people are saying there was two dogs. So, hey, assignment test, just also letting you know on Facebook, a lot of people are saying there there were two dogs. And one uh, fell out. We, we saw some of it in the tree blocked it. And then uh, the one that's here with the uh, driver. I was going to say Corbin. I, I, they, I think they were on Corbin, but yeah, near Topham. They were near Topham for sure. What's up? Oh, no. I think we're good right now. Well, that dog seems pretty loyal to the uh, suspect, so that's the reason why I'm thinking that the dog belongs to the suspect. Thanks, Greg. Tommy, I was just, uh, I mean, this didn't end well by any means, but I was worried that it could have ended a lot worse. Uh, this, uh, that, those, those motorhomes weigh a lot. Uh, it, uh, you saw the, what, what it did to other vehicles when it, it just, they just plowed right through them. Uh, and that's, that's really what I was really super concerned about. If uh, somebody would have been like directly hit by that thing in an intersection, uh, that easily could have been fatal. So uh, it, there, there are injuries. This is a, not, a, not a happy ending by any means, uh, but it could have been so much worse. Suzanne Marquez is watching. Uh, maybe, animal, animal regs. Hey, uh, hey, 
Hey, Rick. Um, they're picking up the dog right now, so I, I'm going to want to get that shot. But it, it, what do you need, Rick? Oh, okay. Sure thing. <laughs> well, it's just there's so much there was so much going on, and I never can see these. You know, I never can see it, so I never really know. But uh, wh what do you guys have? Uh, my wife, Nicole, <laughs> Fulvio. Uh, what do you got, Rick? What do you got? Wow. All right, what 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 is Crash One? I, I'm being serious. So the, the okay, yep, that is Crash One. Okay. Okay. Rim. Okay. All right. Okay. If crash three is the. Okay. There's the last. Okay. Crash three. Crash three is is this one, right? Crash three is this one. All right. All right. Okay. All right, so we, we're getting relatively good confirmation that there were two dogs. The one that we saw fall out the window actually did fall out the window and ran off. And this is dog number two. So uh, are we gonna, are we gonna talk about that in, in our, in our in our piece, or right? Okay. Right. Okay. All right. He's scared, or she's scared. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah, perfect, perfect. Yes, yes, yes. And that was on Tampa. Okay, cool. Oh, that is one loyal dog. That is one loyal dog. Look at that. Wants to go with with the owner in the in the ambulance. Oh. Freaking heartbreaking. All right. So I'm pretty sure all that's going to be cleared up. So let's start with this, and then we're going to go right to tape. Motorhome pursuit, not an SUV. Motorhomes do. I don't know why I kept calling it an SUV. Motorhome. Uh, Ten seconds. Wow, what timing.
Well, Jeff, Susie, this is where it all came to an end. This is going to be Tampa and Wells, but I know we have some tape, and what, what we saw that brought us to this point was just beyond, uh, just the, the most craziest things we've ever seen. That's the first crash that we saw. We, see, we got off the 118, got onto Tampa, and it was actually blocked in, and the driver, the stolen SUV, uh, stolen motorhome, just plows through there, just pushing those other vehicles out of the way. That little white car actually locking up the brakes and stopping that mammoth motorhome for just a few moments, but then in the end, that she, she gets out and starts going high speeds through the valley, on just flying down the streets, making hard turns, getting into re residential neighborhoods, eventually got into the mall. That's going to be the Northridge Mall. Driving around in the parking lot, that's when that motorhome made contact with a palm tree, and that's when it ripped off the whole front of that vehicle. Now, the windshield was gone, the side of the vehicle was gone, but that driver continued to drive at extremely high speeds and extremely fast, crashing into a car that was getting off the, off the 101 freeway. This was in the Tarzana area, and just basically hit that vehicle, and then there was another one as it made its way south of Ventura Boulevard into the hills out here, still on Tampa, crashed into that other white SU, uh, white vehicle right there. There's injuries in both those cars. That person got out and ran, didn't get far. California Highway Patrol there took her into custody, and there was a dog there. Now, a lot of people were watching earlier on, and they saw that dog actually hanging out the front of the window. There were two dogs, and one of them actually did fall out at one point, and the second dog actually stayed with that uh, driver, the suspect, all the way to the end. Now, the, the driver of the white vehicle just being placed in an ambulance right now live, uh, the, uh, we understand that injuries are moderate, not life-threatening to anybody. It could have been so much worse. Those motorhomes, they weigh so much. The driver of that motorhome, she was going 80, 75 to 80 miles an hour on surface streets, running so many red lights. Uh, I'm sure there were many other close calls, but again, this all coming to a crashing end out here in the foothills of the uh, Tarzana Hills, just south of Ventura Boulevard. Live in Sky 9, Stu Mandel. Back to you two in the studio. Oh, I didn't know Rachel was there. Sorry, sorry I fell behind a little. Wow. And assignment desk checking in. <laughs> Folio's like shaking his head. What? Well. The tree was in the way, and, I, and you know what? If that dog would have got ran over, I, I don't know what I would have done. That's what I was, it looked like it was going over the front, and I was just like, yeah, no. Oh, big deal. That's, that's the cameraman's deal, you know what I mean? And I, the picture was fine. We had it the whole time. <clears throat> Jessica, well said.
<clears throat> Barb, you got to know that uh, Thor is Nikki's cat, but I will. And also, uh, we have we have we have many dogs of our own. Yes, sir. Mark, go ahead. Uh, I don't know how low we can go, but I know that it has a front license plate. I saw it earlier on on one of our uh, go arounds. It definitely has a has a has a front plate. That's the plan. Yeah, I can. Oh, I concur, and I understand that. And I'm reading the same thing on Facebook. To, and but uh, that dog ran off. There was a um, there was a FedEx van that stopped. And uh, I'm sure, you know, I don't know, but maybe he's a dog whisperer, but uh, that FedEx van stopped, and I'm wondering if maybe he picked up the dog or she. All right, let's see what we can see. And if anybody's wondering why we're doing this, it's so we can get a hold of the, oh, perfect. Like we couldn't have guessed that was gonna happen. Uh, we, uh, we do this so that uh, we can find the name of the owner and then we can go and talk to them later on. That's the reason why we do this. Dude, this is, you know, how long have we been working together? I'm telling you, this is, this is par for the course. Well, uh, let's see what we can figure out here. He won't. I'm almost thinking about taking the doubler out. One uniform Charlie Bravo Echo. Oh, it's it's personalized. One uniform Charlie Bear. One uniform Charlie Bear. One UC Bear. Yeah, I think think it's uh, yeah, I think it's like UCLA. One UC Bear. Cal Bear. All right, we're gonna go back to, what was it, Corbin and Topham or Corbin near Winnetka and see if we can get any activity over there. Maybe he went to the park. I don't think that's it. That's Tampa in victory. What did he say? Corbin? Corbin in victory? Well, Corbin is this way, right? Corbin's over here. Is that Corbin? That's Corbin. All right, so Corbin in victory, that's right there, but that's not where the dog came out. The dog. Yeah, there were a bunch of trees, and it was also, I think it was, uh, it was, it was a turn in the road, wasn't it? It's right there. Oh, that's stuff that came out of the uh, motorhome. That's what that is.
That's victory in Winnetka. So it must have been somewhere in here. Yeah, it was. It was like somewhere right there. It was, it, and that's where the uh, that's where the uh, where the FedEx truck was. It was, or maybe it was over here. But yeah, the FedEx. That that's it. That's it. There's no doubt about it. There's no doubt about it. And then that's Topham, right? Yeah. <clears throat> that dog was probably like, let me get away. That's probably what it was. It's like, I'm taking my chances. I'm jumping. Yeah. Well, we definitely don't have uh, anybody looking, and as far as I can see, um, you know, there's no dog, and there's like a big, I don't know, that. I think a dog could get through that fence, though. Down and left, Stu. Down and left. Okay, so down and left. It wasn't in here. It definitely wasn't in here. What are you talking about? Uh, oh, you know what? It, the, the FedEx van was parked right there. Because when I saw that, I was like, oh, no, 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 in my mind. So, and I remember it was on a turn, remember? So, yeah, it definitely was, like, right here then. Yeah, and that's the tree that was blocking us. So... Yeah, I was going to say, that'd be awesome. I love it when uh, the Facebook people are like watching and they are that into it where they can actually give us directions. Thanks, Deb. No, the dog came out somewhere right in here because I remember seeing this at a distance and obviously things were moving quickly and it was at a distance and I thought, oh no, no, no. And the FedEx truck was parked right in front of it. Yeah, we're looking to see if we can find the other uh, other dog or evidence that the other dog might have been picked up, but I, I don't I don't think I don't think we're gonna see anything. I don't know what happened to the dog. All right, Simon Deskin, and, and it was definitely was on uh, was on victory. Where the, where the, all that happened? Those were the those were the trees that blocked us. Yeah, that's what I and that's what I thought too. And when we came back the other way, I saw that black patch, and I was like, no, 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 no. And there was a FedEx truck parked right there too, wasn't there? Uh, 
Uh, Janet's asking about the condition of the driver for the black car. Everybody is uh, obviously shooken up and may be injured, but it's non-life-threatening. Uh, we saw her. We saw her actually talking to and her uh, uh, a male companion, maybe brother. I don't know, but came up a family member came up and gave her like was they, you could see that she was happy to see him. Big hug. Um, and a reunion. I don't know if she was taken to a hospital, but I believe she was probably even just, you know, just to make sure. I love your decision. We can see. All right, Simon Desk, looking to you for guidance. We should switch jobs one day, just for a day. <laughs> <laughs> 